Find the positive integer solutions of this equation. 1 over x then plus 1 over y is equal to 1 over 10. How should we solve it? First, let's have a look at the numerators. The numerators have the same value. 1. So easy. And what about the denominators? The denominators are x, y, and 10. As a first step, we shall multiply the both sides by 10 times x times y. Why? Because they are the denominators. So here, 10 times x times y then times 1 over x. 10 times y left. Here, 10 times x left. 1 divided by 10 then times 10 then times xy is x times y. Now is the chance to the changement. xy is the right hand side, so we can subtract 10y and 10x on the both sides. And it looks more beautiful, doesn't it? Now our work is to factorize the left hand side. But how should we factorize it? Mm, this xy and minus 10x, we can take out an x. That is x times, within the bracket, y minus 10. But here, there's only a negative 10y left. So now, we have to work with this guy. So now our only chance is to take out a y minus 10 later. But now we know that negative 10 times y, it doesn't work. That means we lack a number. And we don't know what the number is equal to. So let's have a try. Here is a y, and the coefficient is negative 10. So we have to take out a negative 10, and then times y. Because we want a y minus 10. So we write it as y minus 10. But we know that if you calculate it, there's plus 100. But in this equation, in our original equation, there isn't a 100. So we have to subtract it again. And if we subtract 100, here, y minus 10 can be taken out. We can add in 100 on the both sides. So here, x minus 10 times y minus 10. is 100. The left hand side is a multiplication, and the right hand side is just a positive integer. And we have to solve for the positive integer solutions of this equation. So we just have to find the positive integer solutions of this equation. That's okay. Since x minus 10 and y minus 10 are both cyclic symmetry formula, so without loss of generality. We can suppose y is greater than or equal to x. So first, we have to solve for the value of x minus 10 and y minus 10. 100, it is 1 times 100. 2 times 50. 4 times 25. And it can also be written as 5 times 20 and 10 times 10. So here, 1, 100, 2, 50, 4, 25, 5, 20, and 10, 10. x minus 10 is 1, 2, 4, 5, 10. y minus 10 is 150, 25, 20, and 10. 
Here is eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, and twenty. And why? One hundred ten, one hundred. Ah,、uh, sorry, sixty. It's not one hundred sixty. And thirty-five, thirty, and ten plus ten is twenty. And the order of each of these solutions can be switched. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine solution pairs in total. You got them, and don't forget to give them a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.